Hi, this is Quadrant for Plugin Boutique, and I'm here to show you how to make a drum and bass bass line using Curve 2 by Cable Guys. So I've made a bass line here um, in Ableton using Curve 2 and uh, made a little demo track as well. So let's uh, hide the window real quick and just take a listen to what it sounds like uh, in place with everything playing. <laughs> All right, so bring up Curve 2, and uh, I guess in order to start out, we'll uh, start with the oscillators, kind of how I made the raw sound. So I'm going to disable the filters. Um, I'm going to turn off all but one of the oscillators so you can hear what this sounds like with very little uh, modulation. So let's solo it too. So, not quite the same. So this is basically just a square wave. Um, and let's uh, get a little bit acclimated to Curve 2. So the oscillators are here on the left-hand side. We've got three of them. Um, and then up at the top, we've got the waveforms for the oscillators. And these are waveforms that you can draw in. Um, you can modify them uh, to your heart's content. Uh, you've got 10 of them, and they can be used for both the oscillators as well as for modulating parameters in the synth. And we'll kind of get into that uh, in a little bit. So I've got uh, two waveforms that I'm using for this oscillator. Right now, only oscillator one's turned up. And I'm going to turn this crossfade knob all the way down. So that's going to wave one. We notice wave one uh, looks like a sawtooth wave here. Pretty basic sawtooth. Um, we've also got wave two, which is a square wave. Um, and you notice there's two selectors here for each one of the oscillators. Um, that's what this crossfade knob does. Uh, it fades between the wave that you've got selected for wave one and the one you've got selected for wave two. So. This uh, crossfade is going to switch all the way from a sawtooth wave to a square wave. So the next thing we do is bring in another oscillator, um, and that oscillator has the identical settings. So once again, a uh, sawtooth wave for wave one and a square wave for wave two, and we're going to make the volume uh, exactly the same, uh, but we notice uh, we've noticed we've got these detuned against each other, so they're gonna they're gonna move a little bit. Um, and if we want to crossfade between the two waves, uh, it wouldn't be very convenient if I had to modulate each one of these on their own. So you notice right here, there's a macro knob, um, and I've got that knob mapped to both of those crossfades. So when I turn it all the way down, both wave one and wave two are going to be saw waves. And when I get it turned all the way up, they're going to be square waves. And then I've got oscillator three. Uh, it's just got one waveform, no crossfading going on here. Um, and that's just a simple sine wave. Though that got screwed up a little bit, I'm not sure how. Um, you can click these buttons right here to reset the wave uh, to one of the preset um, shapes. So there's sine, sawtooth, square, pulse, and triangle. So we'll click that right now. And if we turn off wave one and two. So that's just a sine wave that's kind of reinforcing our low end, um, depending on what we do with the filters. Uh, we might not uh, have as much bass as we want. Which, so if we've got a three oscillator synth like Curve 2, it's really nice. You can send a, a sine wave um, to reinforce the sub um, and not send it through any filters. So let's turn the filters back on. Uh, we'll notice the filter routing's right here. We've got serial, uh, filter one uh, only, filter two only, parallel, um, and then left and right split. Uh, so beforehand we had this on parallel. And notice that's kind of uh, moving with an LFO. So right over here um, is our LFOs. We've got four of them, um, and these 
uh, can be set to any of the waves up on the left hand side here. Uh, so I've got wave 10 dialed in right now um, and that's a shape I kind of drew in custom. Um, it is quantized to a dotted quarter note uh, which tends to work pretty well uh, at drum and bass speed, so I tend to use it a lot for modulating bass lines, reasons, that sort of thing. And down at the bottom, we've got LFO routed to filter cutoff one. So the amount here is gonna, if I, if I turn this up and down, Notice that uh, changes how much it's affecting that cutoff. Um, and filter one is a 24 dB bandpass filter. So we've also got filter two, which is a 24 dB low pass filter, and I'm modulating that with uh, LFO2. And that's more of a sine wave, uh, but it's a sine wave that we've kind of rotated a little bit. Um, and when you're dialing in your oscillators, especially your low frequency oscillators, uh, you might want to rotate them around, like uh, using the phase knob, for instance, on an LFO. And Curve gives you tools to do that, so you can move them up and down, uh, left and right. Uh, it's, it helps you out a lot when you're kind of dialing in the shapes of your waveforms. So you'll notice here we've also got these macro knobs um, I touched on a little bit before. Byte is uh, one knob that I've mapped to the cutoff of both filters. So you'll notice that when it's all the way down, it's much more mellower of a sound. Still being modulated by that LFO, but when we turn it all the way up, it gets a lot crazier. And then there's the fatness knob. Um, I've left this at 0%, uh, and you can hear what it sounds like when we turn it up. A lot of cool stuff happening there. Uh, the fatness knob is included with the default preset for Curve 2, so if you just go up click new, you're going to get a basic sound. It's already going to have this fatness knob mapped. And let's click here to see what it maps to. So the fatness knob is going to affect the unison detune, the spread, the damping, and the master volume. And you can see these down here. Uh, we've got it set to seven unison voices. Um, and when we turn that up, they're going to get more and more detuned against each other they are going to have more random stereo spread and the damping just turns each one of the voices down a tiny bit uh, the more voices there are so if you look at these readouts when i kind of change this knob here you notice they all change at the same time and let's listen to it one more time with everything else going All right, that's all I got time for. You can go check out Curve 2 at pluginboutique.com. <laughs> <laughs>